In today's video, I want to talk to you about getting maximum performance out of your crankbait fishing, and this is going to help you catch a lot more fish. Let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about, I'm not going to talk rods, reels, line yet. We're going to talk about the Norman Speed Clip. The Norman Speed Clip is a very integral part of my crankbait fishing. When I put the Speed Clip on, I put it on the split ring of the crankbait. It gives the crankbait much more ease of movement. I get truer wobbles and pitch and rolls out of my crankbaits. So number one, Norman Speed Clip. All right, now I want to get into rod lengths. For example, when I'm target casting, throwing a square bill where I see a target, I cast to the target. I'm going to use a shorter rod. I'm going to use a 6.9 or a 7.2. The reason being is it gives me much more accuracy. I'm not bombing a cast. I'm doing short roll casts right to the target or just past the target. So you're going to want a shorter rod length. Now, I don't go too soft over the rod for this. I like a little bit stiffer because I want muscle power when I'm fishing that close to cover. I want to be, have the ability to get the fish, roll them out of there, and get them to the boat. Now, the next thing is, if you're casting down a bank, like a 45 degree bank, for example, you might be throwing a 6A bomber, or you might be throwing a Norman middle end. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with the 7.2, but I might upsize to a 7.5 or a 7.5 footer because now I'm not going to be really target casting. I'm trying to get the lure to the bottom and run it down the bank. Now, one of my all time favorite things, as everybody knows, is offshore crankbait fishing. This is when you can't skimp. I use a 7 foot 11 or an 8 foot rod. I need the maximum cast I can. This is when you're gonna bomb that thing out there. You're gonna get your fat-free shad down the depth much quicker and easier, or your DD-22. The length of the rod gives you the ability to get extra footage out of your cast, which gets your bait down to depth faster and keeps it there longer. For example, like I I'll tell you a story. I was on Lake Amistad and I was cranking uh, deep tree tops, and I had a friend of mine with me. I was using the eight footer, and he had a seven foot rod. And I could cast 20 feet to 20 yards farther than he could. He could never touch the tree tops. He could never get his crankbait to depth. Rod length is critical. Now I want to get into line size. This is probably the most misunderstood part of crankbait fishing. So we'll start out again with target casting, square bills, the short rods, the 6.9, 7.2s. I'll have 12, 14, 17, and in some instances, 20, depending on how heavy the cover is that I'm fishing through and how deep I need to be fishing. Remember, this is target casting. We're, we're actually casting two stuff and it's usually never deeper than five feet. So you can get away with heavier line. It gives you muscle power. Consider it like fishing, it's like fishing a spinner bait. Heavy line, you can pull the fish out of the cover. This is combat fishing at its finest, only with a crankbait. I love this technique. Now, when I'm fishing, let's say I'm fishing and there's sporadic grass or I've got gradual grass edges, I'll go and I'm casting close. I'm not bombing casts. I'm not offshore yet, legitimately offshore. I'm, I'm on the edge of a break, a shallower break or a grass edge. I'll go back to the 7.2 or the 7.5. Now I'm gonna beef the line up here. I'm gonna go 14 or 17, as long as I'm not losing depth. This way I can rip it through the grass. When I'm cranking it down and I hit the grass stalk and I can tear it through the grass, this gets you tons of strikes doing this. So if, you're, if you need to get down to a certain depth, let's say you're throwing a Norman deep little N, and, it's, and with 17, it's just not getting where you need to go. You can bump up to a DD-22 or a Fat Free 7, get a little bit of depth, but still keep the strength of the line size so you're not sacrificing anything when you're snatching it through the grass. You're not gonna break stuff off. Now, the other thing, let's go offshore. Offshore, I always, always, always start out with 12-pound fluorocarbon. 
I, in fact, I fish crankbaits exclusively on fluorocarbon. But offshore, I always start out with 12. Why? Because I know that at 12, I'm getting true depth out of my crankbait. If it tells you on the package that the crankbait runs 12 to 15, you're gonna get 12 to 15. If it tells you it runs 17, you're gonna get 17. Now, I will up my line size depending on the cover that's on the structure. 14 pound, you're not gonna lose tons of depth. 14 pound you lose, depending on whose crankbait it is, you could lose anywhere from eight inches to a foot from going from 12 to 14. You'll lose about the same amount going from 14 to 17. But here, depth control is very important also. I'll, I wanna tell you a quick story. We were filming a video with um, Fat Free Shads. And the day we went out to film the video, we were fishing 12 to 15 feet and we were crashing them. I was using 12 pound test. I was using my 711, getting it down there. The bait was touching the bottom. It, it was fishing perfectly. And we caught a ton and didn't lose a single fish. Three days later, we went back out to the same lake. The lake level dropped two feet. Now I, I'm, I still had my 12 pound line. I throw it out there and it's dredging. I can just feel it. It is in the bottom. It is dredging. I got a fish, I, I went to land them, lost them. Cast out again, dredging, 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 got another one, lost them. I realized at that point that the 12 pound line was getting my bait, the fat free was getting it too deep. And the bass were hitting it from on top to the bottom and I wasn't getting a good hook set in them. I immediately switched to 17 pound fluoro now the bait was just touching things on the bottom and I never lost a bass the rest of the day. So pay attention to what your crankbait is telling you. Pay attention to what the fish are telling you and adjust your line size accordingly. Be careful because some crankbaits won't run well on heavy line. This is, you're gonna just have to experiment with that and see. But as a general rule, I always offshore, I start out with 12. Cranking grass, I start out usually with 14 or 17. And square billing, I found 14 to be the best, but I do go to 17 and I do go to 20 on the square bill. The fat boy will handle 20, the fat boy will handle 17 like nothing. I'm confident if you take these three steps, the Norman speed clip, rod length, line size, and apply this to your crankbait strategies and I guarantee you, you're gonna have immediate success.